Ahoy, 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 tricky luggers. How's everybody doing today? It's Wednesday. It is right in the middle of the week. Middle of the week. It's a, well, it's a little foggy out, but what a clear, beautiful day in Oakland. I know. Finally, we have like decent weather. Yeah, we looked really at the nice. air quality map and it was all green. It was amazing. So <laughs> we haven't we're had wishing that, that in a very while. soon for our friends in um, Oregon and Washington. Yeah, And absolutely. definitely anyone who's dealing with storms, please stay safe too. We're thinking about you. But we're just wanting you to know it's a beautiful day in Oakland and we want to share that. Whew! Thank goodness. Sure. All right. It is. So, it is. I don't know why I said sure. No, it, it definitely <laughs> is. Why don't we say hi to everyone? Mm. Sorry, I need a shot of coffee. All right. This has been, it's been a slow going morning, I gotta say. Really? Um, yeah. Well, actually, we got the windows all open. We that did. Nice. That was nice. All right, so let's see who is here. Da 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 da. Right up there. Look who it is. Albert Lee, Aquamike TV, Brick and Nista, Christopher, Christopher Lego the Flowers, Flowers Worked Chalice. Chalice. All right. Uh, Cornado, uh, Debo Bricks, uh, Fallen Tree 23, Hooded One. Wow, I'm like all over the place. Are you? John Latrell is like here. Going down the list. <laughs> hey, Joshua Steele, thanks for the awesome video. Um, uh, Lego Ninja 13, Matthew Builds Bricks. Hey, Matthew, Mini Fig Chick. Hi. Kara, how's it going? Uh, Hi, Monica Berry, Rob Zaccardi, and Hi, Lana all the Zaccardis. and Vanessa and the Zaccardis clan. Um, Sam Bauman. Yes, Sam Bauman, the Brick Orphanage, the Jammy Bricker, uh, Zach Martinez, and, and Sarah Kino. Sarah Kino Kim. How's it going? Hi, everyone. Welcome. And anyone who's not chatting, welcome to... Yes, have a fun day of building and if you, blabbing about stuff. If maybe you're on, I don't know if maybe you're on Facebook mm -hmm. or who knows, because there's people watching in yep, far and multiple wide. places, which is so, always so I know, to multiple me. time zones, too. <laughs> <I know. laughs> Absolutely. So, Golly, what's going we on have today, some, We have stuff. We have stuff going on today. So, um, okay, shall we well, start let's off look with at those? these. Oh, what did I do with it? There it is. You got it. Today is a very chipper chip with an acorn. He's happy. He's saving up for fall. Oh, very nice. Yep. Um, I had, uh, let's see. I have the Haunted Mansion today. This is the Disneyland version of the Haunted Mansion. Oh, look at that. Thanks, Clicky, for there the focus go. there. There we go. So, I like the bats. I never noticed the bats on that one. Yeah, and it's got some really cool like back, uh, really cool backdrop on it too. They so remind me of the cool. bats that fly out at the end of the Scooby Doo mm. credits. Yes, um, the original so, Scooby Doo. So yes. um, actually, while we are talking about, um, uh oh, awesome segue uh, coming up. Oh no, no, you weren't supposed to build it up because I forgot. Oh, no, no, no. I forgot what I was well, going to say. We have, we have Lego news. We have Tricky right. Bricks news today. We do. Oh, so yes, we have Tricky Bricks news. So as of this episode, we are no longer um, monetizing this show for whatever that is uh, via YouTube. Um, we decided that it just wasn't worth it to have the ads and to have to put y'all through the ads, even the skippable ones. We're and not we... really into ads. They're great for some people, and they work out, but yeah. it's just not, I yeah. don't know, forgive me the vibe that we want to be giving out. Yeah, and we said all along that ads wasn't something we wanted to do, and we kind of went back on that, and I don't think we've ever really been happy with that decision. So um, as much as we enjoyed it, and as much as we so much appreciated everybody's support through I Super know. Chats. Thank you. That was amazing. Um, Super Chats are going away, but there are other ways that you can... Um, uh, donate if you want to help out the stream and uh, we have a Venmo we have um, a Patreon and that's all the information for those and links are in on the description of every video that we do so yep. there are definitely ways to find um, but we just really felt like we wanted to um, kind of just be done with the ads yep so and, and you just, can't have one without the other just as a reminder the Tricky Bricks build-in chat is all free all the yeah. time. But we super appreciate your donations, and all of your donations um, uh, go right back into the show. Go right back into the show. It's true. Hey, yep. Moto's here. Hey, Moto. Hey, Moto. How's it going? Hi. That um, Moto's Fab Max photo is amazing. Yeah. It's really cool. I don't yeah. know if you saw it on the web. It's yeah. cool. 
So golly, um, what and else? And then there's what Lego else? news as well. Oh yes, and then there's the and then there's the and then there's Lego news. It's a um, downright day of good news. Um, here is a. Um, uh, wait, I gotta find the news thing. Where'd it go? Oh my goodness, I don't know. It's hiding. Oh, here we go. All right, I got the so, song going. So the big Lego news for today is uh, that it's going to be covered up by this. And why is that there? Oh no, I'm going to have to go back over to here for a second. Okay, bear with us, please. I know we need. We oh, do you're need just one of those. turning off a little click. We do down, need right? one of those technical difficulties screens. I feel yeah. like. <laughs> you need help. I feel like we need. <laughs> Okay, there we go. Technical difficulty over. Thank um, you, Clicky. That was very helpful. Your somewhat sarcastic offer of assistance. <laughs> so, um, what's going on in Lego news? Uh, oh yeah, no, everything's everything is this. Everything is the same. Nothing is going to change. The only thing that's going to change is we won't be. You won't be able to do super chats anymore, which is yeah. really not. A, it's not a big loss. And to us, it's worth it for people not to have to click through ads, and we just don't want ads, period. So that's just... Yeah, it just kind of shows up like yeah. magic. We are not at all leaving YouTube. At all. No, still we're here. here still we are doing solid here. Just we that. have a great relationship with YouTube. YouTube's mm -hmm. been wonderful to us, and yeah. that's all working out really well. The only thing is we just said no more ads. Yeah. So... Anyway, the Lego news. Uh, you, yep. you can see we're here on the Brothers Brick. And, Thanks, Brothers um, Brick. The Lego has announced that they are going to invest $400 million in sustainability and begin phasing out plastic packaging next year. Isn't that crazy, right? So, so fast. Now, I wonder what that means. You know, like immediately I'm thinking the inner bags on the boxes, that's great. I'm so glad they are. Um, I'm so glad they're switching to paper. Yep. Yeah. Um, the, uh, I wonder about CMFs. But the, uh, well, CMFs are in foil, so mm. that's different. What I think, what I'm wondering about is poly bags. If they're phasing out plastic, what are like the poly bags and the extras bags and mm. things? I wonder if those are going to switch over to a foil, or if they're going to just do them in paper and you won't be able to see through them. Like or... paper envelopes would be cool. It'd be funny for them to introduce boxes for those. I think. Yeah. I, I bet they'll come up with something. Yeah, they um, I'm sure they probably you know, already have some. They're probably, amazing, I'm like sure, design. working on this for a long time. I'm sure, but isn't that great news? Yeah. And, and you know, as much sort of conflicted feeling that I have about working with a medium, which is plastic, right? Lots of plastic. Um, it's been pointed out to me that unlike many other media, you reuse your art supplies over and over and over and over again. So you're not, you know, using them and throwing them away. Sorry. Wait, what's going on, Clint? I'm just giggling because Cornado said um, opening bags on the stream will be so quiet now. I know. And actually... <laughs> I gotta say, when I saw they were switching to paper, my thought was not, oh, that's great, it's super sustainable. My first thought was, it'll quiet be so bag quiet openings. opening bags now. <laughs> the worst. <laughs> no more. That's what I thought of. No more potato chips in a movie theater. Yeah. So then for noise, I'll have to go back to rummaging through plates in a drawer. And let me tell you, I'm... I think about our neighbors when I'm rummaging for plates because it's so loud. Yeah. It's really loud. And, well, um, this is great news. So and so here it is. Here's their whole little um, little image graph about them. Uh, they're working to make uh, packaging sustainable by 2025. Uh, so that's pretty exciting. Recycled paper bags um, will, uh, will be trialed in Lego boxes from 2021. Awesome. Easier to open. Yes, much easier. Much, much easier to open. So there you go. Um, I think that's really exciting, well, that's cool. and I I really gotta say I'm impressed with how much Lego's been stepping up recently. Like it, I mean, it just seems like I don't know. I just feel like we keep getting good news from Lego. Yeah. Oh, Iceberg Bricks is here. Hey Mel, Yay, how's hey, it Mel. going? Um, we are uh, Mel is here from Lego Masters. He's in the chat. You and, just um, got to hang out with him, right? Yes, yeah. So we, I taught a class. Mel is doing uh, with uh, the help of Holly, who you know from the show, um, has been teaching um, a free Lego classes. And there was a 
a kit of Lego got sent out to each kid um, for free, and they were able to, to, to take the class. And he's been having different people teach classes, and I taught mm -hmm. a landscaping class yesterday to the kids, and it was really a lot of fun. It was fun to, to be back teaching a class. So thanks for that, Mel. It was fun. I'm so glad that the kids enjoyed it. That's great. All right. Oh, and Rob Zaccardi is giving props to Mel on that, too. Yeah, it's really, um, he's done a great job um, doing that. I think it's really cool, so. Ahoy hoy, orange bricks. Yes, ahoy hoy, and Yano is here, ahoy hoy. Everybody's showing up, that's awesome. So, well, today we're going out on a limb again, right? Yeah, is so. It, but I don't mean to jump into that, is it that time? No, so we've been doing these, you know, we've been doing these um, these mock builds, which people seem to be interested in. Yeah. I and mean, we continue to do them, and it continues to be, like, an interesting, like, weird, I don't know, like, it's such a, it's such a bizarre thing to do to be building free on on camera well because normally when we're building it's just the two of us in a room bouncing off each other right right right, right. and um oh and speaking of which so that's going on so the secret project that we've been, we've been oh, teasing yeah actually premieres tomorrow so ch make sure you check out our social media tomorrow um i'll it'll be up on our facebook page and on our web page Yep. And on the on our Instagram, you can see it there first, and then <coughs> I'm sure we'll talk about it a little bit on the show afterwards. Right? Yeah, we actually um, we actually talked about doing a little bit of a breakdown of it, just because there are some um, techniques that we mm -hmm. discovered um, while we were building it that we thought people might find interesting. Yeah. Uh, but also Monday, uh, this coming up Monday, we are going to be doing the uh, long-awaited motors tutorial. Yes, motors. EV3 powered up and power functions motors. Yeah, so maybe, maybe even a pullback motor. Yeah, we'll be looking at um, at different types of motors and how um, like what they are most appropriate for in trying to make your uh, models move. Yeah, we can talk about some of the strengths and weaknesses and how to hook them up. We're not going to make machines out of them. No, that's, that's, that's not what this show. is about. This is just this sort is of just what what's out there. Yeah, introducing you to motors and what uh, and what they can do, and you know. The, you know what's interesting, and I know we'll bring this train up. Train motors too. I didn't even think about that. Yeah, and it'll be interesting, and we'll talk about this more when we um, uh, when we do the actual show. But the um, even though they're constantly moving on, like you know, powered up and this and and you know, yep. and you can still get power function stuff used that works, that's there affordable. Is. and and still works totally fine. Yeah. You just have to do a little bit more. You know, kind of old school. Um, like you can't just program it to go slower. You have to gear it down. So, yeah. but you know. you know, there's other. Um, maybe that's also for another show. There's for all of the, for most of the kinds of motors that we're going to talk about. You can modulate their behavior with sensors, including power functions. Yes, it's true. It's true. You can't yeah, do... So, but anyway, we'll we'll talk about that when we talk about that. That's um, I'm getting um, <laughs> getting that you're getting, getting excited about it already. Well, because I'm thinking about all the <laughs> things that I don't think about that go into it, right? Yeah, exactly. So, so that'll be a how-to. So you know what? I think it's time for. Dun, dun, dun. I made ominous music. I know. It's not, it's not really. No, that's more. <laughs> that's more things from the crypt. <laughs> this Absolutely. is cool. This uh, today's sticker set show and tell is brought to you by Shane Dennis. Thanks a lot, Shane. This is from 2018. It's set. There it is. Seven six one zero two. The sticker sheet is eight by eight point five by seven studs small, um, and it's Thor's weapon quest. And you get three figures with that one. You get Groot, Rocket Raccoon, and Thor, the Infinity War version. This is awesome. Well, this will be great for um, for Max or. I well, mean, we could actually we could use we could... some of that in Fab Max. Yeah, I was gonna say. I'm wondering if we can find. A, we have to find. Dare we? This Are we gonna Fab break Max. open our? You know, because sticker sheets aren't just to put on the wall. <laughs> I'm telling myself it's because true. I tend to want to keep them, right? But I know. We, we might as well use them. them. <laughs> well, thanks a lot for that, Shane Dennis. That's sticker set show and tell. All right. Mm. All right. So, gosh, I guess we are going to get... To, is that all? Is that all the everythings? I think oh, so. Oh, I know that you wanted to... You kind of wanted to talk to people a little bit about the train, right? I do. 
Um, actually, the train is, which I showed you running on track, um, has been more challenging than I anticipated. Um, but you found some inspirational but photos, I found, right? And so here's the train we were talking about, and it runs on the roller coaster track. I'll show you that in a minute. But I, fa I did find some. I looked for Fabuland trains and old school Lego trains. So this is the closest thing I found on the entire web to a Fabuland train, and I think it's just great. It's pretty cool. Now, ours is going to be a freight train, not a, not a passenger train, but... Um, I'm making a, uh, it's only 10 studs front to back, the locomotive. Yeah. So I love the boiler on this one, and I think I'm going to make something along the lines of a boiler for mine. Now, this one came out not too long ago, actually. This was... That's um, true. This was, was the commemorative set. Right? Yeah, yeah. We had this set for a hot minute, and then I gifted it to someone. Someone <laughs> who was very <laughs> deserving. Who was very excited about trains. Um, yeah, I think that's great. And here's um, some color blocking. I'm I'm gonna do color blocking, but a little more patchwork um, on mine. And I love the windows. I'm envious of the windows because I'm not gonna get. Um, maybe I'll have two windows. But you have a door from this. I do. Yeah, check that out. Look, <laughs> right there. That's the door to the um, locomotive. Um, and it's a 12 volt train. It says, right? 12, not nine. Yeah, interesting. All right. Oh, that's super cute. Now, isn't this cute? Now, I don't want to copy someone else's design. And we already have, I think... Oh, we don't have a use for those seats, though, do we? We should put those somewhere I in our model. I, yeah, I used to say, I just realized those are the seats from the uh, the, from Ferris the Ferris wheel. wheel. But what? they don't have... They're missing pieces. Like, it doesn't have the, the little like pins that hold it into the side but still wonder, it's really cool well we should see if somewhere on our layout we can use that if yeah. not you know i don't think we'll use it in our train super cute wow this is great who did this one i tried to include the um i'm oh, so i'm so sorry that i don't cool. have the um the builder here it wasn't available to me where i found it this is um, really, really whoever cool. whoever did this, I think this is a beautiful design and that big color blocking. Well, and then they used actual Fabuland car uh, chassis as the train, the actual base of the yeah, train. Yeah, so you get those beautiful spoked wheels. Yeah, it's a really... Oh, that's a different part than the Ferris wheel when Fabifan and MKE got it. Thank oh, you. Oh, it is. Thanks. That's why it's not... Why it's missing that piece, right? Very cool. And I well, love the font. I, I love this. I think the use of grills is great. And the yellow flag for the top of the... That's the next thing I'm going to work on is the passenger compartment for the um, front of the locomotive. The engine? Yep. The engine, thank you. Yes. <laughs> I like how simple this is. There's not a lot going on here, but it really... You know, those lines, I think, on the boiler are really good. Very oh, cool. and um, I saw in one of these photos, I saw a different... Um, headlight brick. That headlight brick that looks one, different. That one? square? Yeah, and it's got like a little chamfered corner down um, on it. And here you see it up close. Look, oh! That's not the same headlight brick we're used to, right? No, that's kooky. It looks like a... This is my favorite um, of those trains right here is this set. That's pretty cool. And it, you see it's got the magnet front on it. So I won't have those spokes on ours. Our um, wheels will be hidden. Oh yeah, um, but that's I really right. like how simple and tiny this one is. Oh yeah, Christopher reminds me that what's he, that? That that catalog. I don't have it to hand, unfortunately. But the catalog that he sent us has probably has trains in it. I'm gonna guess. Oh, I hope so. I'm gonna look. Um, I, I want to. I got stuck it. on the Fabuland pages. I couldn't stop looking at them. Well, I want to base it on original trains, and then this I think has to be a render, right? No, this. Yeah, but this is a this is Lego. To this is an actual set. The Toy Story Western Train Chase. Well, what I what I love about this, um, especially, is it's reminding me to use that cow catcher. And somewhere we have a red cow catcher. That's yeah, the we did. We have one. It's we use it at Christmas a lot. Yeah, and we do. So um, <laughs> my train is not going to have so much going on between the boiler and the compartment. It's going to be all compressed front to back. Yeah, I like that. I like that. Oh, I love these. These are fun. These look like something you'd see out of a kid's book from the 60s. Yeah, I could see them animated and moving. And they almost see... I mean, they're all three very, very similar. 
Yep. Um, but I think... Well, uh, they're all, I think they're all exactly the same, just in different colors. Yeah, it looks like it is the same shape, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, it's all this, this. They just recolored yep. it in different ones. And with I think number on it. some kind of antenna or wire thing. I'm not sure um, should go on the top of the of the engine compartment like that. And then um, we've got to hide a battery box. So I think a coal car might not be a this bad way. This is great. I love that. Um, let's see. Uh, Minifig Chick, do we have your red cow catcher, or did you have an... Actually, we gave you ours, and then later down the road ended up coming, having another one come our way. Yeah, I think, I that, think we have one somewhere. It's Lego Red Cow Catcher Karma. Yeah. <laughs> wow. <laughs> it's like a beat poem. Uh, yes, and Christopher reminds us, as I'm sure yes. Robert and Carr would, that it is called the tender, not the coal. Bu- the, the, oh, uh, the coal I'm bus. so sorry. Yes, I'm, I'm a... Uh, uh, the only word that comes to mind is dilettante, but um, I'm inexperienced with trains. <laughs> I know how to get our really worn down, tired train engines um, going, which is awesome. Thanks to um, advice from Paint Pusher and also um, Dan Keys in our lug. You'd, and uh, yes, yes. Sorry, I got. I, I had some. What's clever. going on? I keep. Like all the good you had lines a, you had keep clever just escaping thing? out of my head today. Oh, yeah. I must be interrupting. So hey, that reminds me actually. Not to am I? You got something going on there? No, you go right ahead. All I'm right, gonna drink my coffee. So talking about trains, we like Lego trains um, a lot, and um, there are people in our lug who are really, really experienced with Lego trains. Oh my goodness, Flynn, what's going on? Nothing. You Sorry. sure? Mm-hmm. All right. Um, there are some people who are very, very experienced with trains, um, and I thought maybe we would do a how-to show where we brought these people who know Lego trains so much onto the show, and they did the how-to. Yes, yes, yes. They did, uh, oh, they're, yeah, they know a lot about trains. I feel, well, it's I feel actually like a combination. Like a rookie, a train it's, rookie. It's a combination train club and, Le- or Lego train club and Lego club, right? It's yeah. It's sort of melded together. I mean, everybody has their their things that they do, right? Like, I feel like I have, um, uh, I don't know. I feel like there, I have a couple of things, like styles that I'm good at, and then and other ones, not so much. Like trains, I yeah. feel like I'm kind of terrible. Well, really you've, ex- you've expressed some concern about getting typecast with, with certain things, but I think, like with microcastles, <laughs> you're really good at them, right? So I don't think there's any problem with... Focusing on something you're super good at. Well, I mean, what is it? Um, didn't um, Picasso have a blue period? Yeah. <laughs> it's your tiny castle period. <laughs> this this was Flynn's tiny castle period. You can see. Yeah, that's what they'll say. All I'll right. Review it. Anyway. <laughs> um, What's going well, on? Should see, we build some yeah, stuff? Yeah, so let's go ahead. I think we should build. Well, kick you can in. see, look. We've got, oh, and remember this? Mm-hmm. It is just sitting on the floor because we actually, our entire apartment is filled with stuff. Yes, an awesome again, thank you present. everyone so much for this awesome birthday present. I love you guys so much and I am going to put it together. I've just been waiting for an opportunity to put it on, to do Twitch, which I've been wanting to do. And then I was thinking I was going to do it today and then... Um, I was going to go on Twitch today and do it, and then I realized we actually have to do a photo shoot for our secret project. For oh, our, yeah, so... super secret photo shoot. Yeah. Anyway. So, at any rate, you can see uh, about, what, half of our organized collection? Yeah, I've there. seen it. Something like that, and so we move the table, we can get to it. Um, are we going to do some vote. down camera and some front? We will. Okay. Well, for now, I'm going to say um, I lengthened this guy doesn't seem like a lot of progress but i lengthened him and determined that he can still get down the um you know down and up the hills which is cool and he's going to support the battery box so i've made a place to easily remove the battery box and i was going to put him in the in the engine but i want a fabulan character in there don't you think right so this is going to be my excuse me my boiler I'm going to put a circular piece on the front. I like these windows a lot, but I'd like it to be angled back, so I may put it on a rocker hinge. Um, I think a brown... uh, Where is it? 
here. A brown seat inside just because I want something to stand out. Like everything is going to be red, yellow, and blue. Hmm, yes. And then this is the hardest thing. I um, have finally switched out every piece that I can to yellow. Everything I have yellow or blue pieces in. And I've got snot around the outsides of it. Um, the big problem here, if you can see, is that this gear sticks out, right? So I can't let it hit anything. And um, we only have a little bit of clearance on the sides of the track. So my challenge is to make something that, that looks cool um, and is narrow enough to not um, make us widen our building. Flynn, what happened to our floor plan? Remember I was saying... <laughs> <laughs> Remember I was saying that I would be... Um, that, you know, if things didn't fit, that my first move is to is to do them it's just um, four studs it's no problem i mean eight well half a base split yeah that's how it happens every yeah. piece we build so it's now it's it, a half a bat half a base plate longer to accommodate the boat but the thing is he's right <laughs> the, he's right <laughs> well, am i i don't know if our room is big Can enough I get the, to it's, that. that is on that is on video now i just want you to know <laughs> I was taken out of context. <laughs> yeah, so I'm going to get some building pieces and start building um, structure onto this thing. Oh. Well, that's weird. What, your half and a half is gone? No, um, my, uh, for some reason, the, um, the down camera is not uh, working right. Not sure why. That's all right, though. We'll figure it out. I'm going to go ahead and... Well, do you want to take a minute with that while I gather some... Right? Oh, you're just going to reset it? Yeah, let's see what happens. You know, I realized it's that. this morning as I went... We have a stack back there of these takeout containers. Mm -hmm. um, those are from Drew Bear, right? Yes. Yay, thanks, Drew. Um, and I don't know, it came with like 300 or 500 of them, and I keep taking them out, but I never put one back. So it means that our house is now full of takeout containers that have little collections of bricks <laughs> in them. You wouldn't know anything about that. Hey, sorry, I'm just, um, yeah, for some reason our, um, what the down cam is being, it's, you know, it's funny. I thought binary was, you know, pretty stable, right? If the one is a one today, it's a one tomorrow. It's not. But our ones and zeros <laughs> I think there must be gamma rays or something that flip the ones and zeros because our computer changes its own settings. Yeah, I don't know. This is like all of a sudden the down camera has decided that it's not working. And I'm not quite sure why because I used it yesterday. Although I thought I heard um, Alexa conspiring with Siri last night. Maybe, oh, you know, maybe they're up to something. Oh, jeez. <laughs> this is not... Um, the okay well this is this is a bummer what about the down cam um yeah i don't i'm not really sure what the heck is going on here well we won't unplug the other one is this that's definitely the down cam in that port right there sure is yeah we don't we definitely don't unplug this one no that's the monitor that's the monitor that's the down cam well you know what i'm I gonna um i'm gonna continue seeing if i can figure out what the heck is going on here okay and you can um work on work on this work on the train so i think this is so squat that i think i want to extend it oh sorry there backwards i want to extend it up to make it rounder and i may put curves on the top there and some kind of um you know hot rods excuse me i'm so ignorant about cars but hot, hot rods hot rods you know cartoon hot rods have um all those pipes coming off the main engine block on the hood i think i want to do something like that and now my you know my friends who know cars are rolling their <laughs> eyes over that um, but i think Ugh. that means i need some plates and, oh, and we decided we're introducing more gray, right? Yeah. Well, you mean light gray is one of the co is yeah. one of the colors. Now, how about black? We can use black because there's black car chassis, right? So I could give... Do you think I should do stripes on this? Look, there's the down cam. Well, I've got part of it going. <laughs> I feel like it's a missed opportunity for... 
opportunity if I don't put stripes in there, don't you? Let me see. Uh, I'm back. My Wi-Fi. Lego Ninja 13, welcome back. Uh, uh, Jay Stevermare says reset it in OBS if all else Yeah, fails. that's what I'm doing right now. I'm trying to get this sorted out, everybody. I'll be back with you in just a second. Yes, stripes, Christopher. Um, Lego flowers. Yeah, I'm gonna put stripes in there, and I think they have to be like they should be red or um, yellow, and I'm gonna go with yellow because we have a ton of red track. So that means some yellow one by fours. Yes, because there's no one by fives. Yeah, I'm really confused about what happened here. Like, everything kind of went a little screwy. Yeah, but look, <laughs> it looks like we're almost back on that. Oh, Orange Bricks, you're going to do your first stream tomorrow. Excellent. Oh, cool. That's awesome to hear. Very cool. And is that on YouTube? Will you be, um, what will you be doing on your stream? Yeah, this is very four strange. These, I think four of these guys. And I decided that this um, darker yellow, let me see. Oh, they look the same. Well, this one on top, I can tell you, is the darker yellow. Um, and I'm going to freely include that. Oh, these need to be two buys? I don't know. Here, I'll build up here where you can see. Yeah, I'm sorry, everybody. I'm working on it. I see it coming along. I can see it in the preview screen. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna quick, I'm just gonna switch over to that so people can at least see it while I continue fussing with trying to get it back to the actual size that it's supposed oh, okay. to be. <laughs> like it suddenly, it's not doing widescreen anymore, and it's being all crazy. So, well, you can get all those settings. So now I'm starting. It's hard to see. I think the difference. You can see the difference between those two stripes on video. I'm not sure. Um, but I'm starting to mix up my colors a little bit more because I was feeling like, how am I going to mess this up? Are you coming upon that? Like, are you, when you're building your Fabuland, do you find it hard to mess it up or make it more Fab Max? And what are you doing? Let's see here. I got five. I got another. Christopher Chalice, um, another Zoom meeting. Well, I'm so glad that you got to join us. And that sounds fun, a scouting Zoom meeting. Fewer mosquitoes, right? Let me see. You don't How's have it going a over ton there? of subs. I have two, and I go. Uh, well, I find you know you're more experienced at building at the same time as looking at the chat. My hands tend to stop, I think, when I start looking at the chat. And I'm wondering. I think. I think I want to. Oh, I can show you here, right? Oh, this is upside down as well, isn't it? Yep, it's all. It's all Look at that. Up. So I'm gonna raise up, uh, wow, this is a puzzle orienting this in 3D upside down there. I'm gonna raise this guy up. How's that, is that better? Yeah, I think so. Yep, there, is I flipped it, it for you. Look, it's flipped. It's just, now it's flipped the other way. Um, I think I need some regular slopes here. Oh man, this is... Oops. I swear I don't understand computers. I really try to. Well, you do a really good job, I gotta say. Like, you've programmed most of what's going on with this show. Doing my best. You just keep on keeping on. Well, see, I keep going around and around. Like, I love this shape here. Mm -hmm. um, here we go. I'm gonna put another one of these on here. Oops. I love this shape that it starts to have rotating. Whoa, it's hurting my head. There. Um, with these slopes coming down, but then it gives this really plain surface there. So <clears throat> I almost feel like I need to raise these slopes up and put some clips there that I can put, you know, bars and pipes and all that. Um, you know, maybe this... It might be that this train has some serious stripage on it. Sorry, I said stripage. That Flynn always rolls his head, rolls his eyes when I say things like that. 
All right. So then um, we're going to need some clips as well, which means more plates. Let's see. I hope your build, Richard, doesn't go like my bus engine. And it broke due to the hollowness. Yeah, that's the thing is now... Um, Ooh, turning it upside down here. So now I get to start building structure into all of this. And I think I'm going to put snot pieces on it. And I want to get something like, I think that obviously that blade is too big, but I want to do something like this piece on the front of it with a colored background. You know, that starts to look more like the front of a boiler to me, of a fantasy boiler train. All right, I'm gonna engine cover. So I'm gonna switch this back to front view for a minute while I try and sort uh, okay. something else out. If that's okay with you. Yeah, you'll have to you'll you can have do to that. build up into the camera, but that's all right. That's okay. Oh, so I can actually show you a lot more clearly, and I can see here too. I think the door comes back one like that. I thought about raising the door up so the passenger compartment is up here and putting a ladder um, underneath it. I think I may do that. Oops, I'm having all these rotational challenges. There, whoa, we're level, like that. Rotational challenges, Flynn. Mm. Hmm. Okay, so then I also wanna work some windows in and I can save a lot of building bricks by thinking about what windows I want to use. So if I keep the train sort of blue, then when it goes around the corner, I think maybe I'll use these vintage, oh, I can't see, oh, there we go. Can use these vintage yellow windows. Um, there it is on the side of the passenger compartment and we can see our panda or monkey or whoever is driving the train. So like we do when building buildings, I usually start laying out the, here we'll go like this. I like starting to lay out and distribute the windows before I build the wall at all. Oh, am I, oh, I see. I had my head right under the down camera. It's okay. I'm getting there. I'm almost there, y'all. There we go. And then, Believe it or not. Oh, but you know what? I decided I already wanted to use this wide window on the front, so that means no yellow windows there for me. I think I'm going to use red ones. Wow, this has been uh, an exercise in AV crew. Which oh, I, yeah. Which I was never <laughs> a part of, by the way. Really? I was always the one. We had... We had film strips in elementary school. Oh my goodness. Little 35 millimeter film strips that would go in a projector and then there'd be a soundtrack and a beep. And when the beep happened, then, then someone, like the AV nerd, would um, rotate the knob and it would go to the next frame. But we also had 16 millimeter films, right? Like I remember seeing all of the the Jiminy Cricket movies. Oh you know, <laughs> right! I'm I'm no fool. And then there were counting ones as well. Um, and um, the problem with those 16 millimeter uh, films is they would go in projectors, and people who didn't know how to use the projectors would tear sprockets. And so you'd see <laughs> you'd see Jiminy Cricket like I'm no fool, no sir, you know. And then it starts going up and down and then tearing. Well, I was the student. What's that? I'm going to well, work on our train while I'm we're going talking. back to this. We're <laughs> talking about AV nerds, Mr. AV nerd. So rather than banging out the erasers for the chalkboard at the end of the day, I uh, I was the guy who ran the projectors. There you go. And there you are. Right? And now, Friends. 50 years later, 50, 40 years later, I mean, uh, 20 years later, um... I don't know. I always work on tech crew. Well, de design more than anything, though. Um, so I want to get uh, these red windows. We're so lucky we have a bunch of these vintage red windows. I really have no idea what happened. This is just like so bizarre. Well, Flynn, if the down cam isn't gonna work, we can just no. It is. I'm in almost the... there. It I looks am beautiful. So close, actually, you guys. it looks like I'm so you know close. almost broadcast quality images there. <laughs> <Almost>. <laughs> Nearly. Pretty near. We look so lifelike. 
the down cam definitely does make it a lot easier. Well, I think this one's too big. Check that out. I got us back. There to... we go. Look, and and my skin looks almost lifelike. Almost right there. Oh, you can see off the end of our fancy paper. That's okay. I'm gonna do this. Ta-da! There we go. Look at that. Now, oh, we're back in the realm of being able to. Um, I think I'm gonna do those. Yeah, windows. it's back in the it's back in the backwards world. Uh, actually. Oh, it is. Yeah, but that's okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna figure it out. I am gonna figure it out. Okie doke. Because if I don't, it's gonna drive me crazy. This is like my this is like my obsession. <laughs> there we go. So now, even though I haven't put them, oops, now, even though I haven't put them up in um, the structure yet, I've distributed the windows um, so I know how much other bricks I have. And I'm going to have a back window in it here, and then I'm going to find a ladder to go under here. Maybe I'll find that ladder next. Let me see. Well... I have ladders no are idea. Fences and steps. Where are ladders, Flynn? Ladders. Oh, here we go. Maybe. It is. Uh, yeah, they're all in there. All right. Well, this is what we're getting. So it's gonna have to be a little bit backwards, but that's all right. That looks like down video. Well, that was an unfortunate. Um, Whoa! Is this diversion? Is Okay, this isn't Lego. I was like, no. I, I was so excited. Look, it's a rope ladder. You can make a rope ladder out of two of these. Yeah. Well, I don't actually have room for a rope ladder on this. I just got excited about a new piece. Yeah. Um, but I don't see any little, any little ladders, um, to go on the outside of my train. So what's going on with your with your chains? You want to show people? Um, yeah, I'm just I'm working on getting the um, the tires on to the boat right now. So that's something we were talking about doing the other day. And honestly, the funny thing is, so far, this is pretty pretty much with y'all has been the only time we've been able to work on this project. <laughs> Well, but so, this weekend, this weekend is as major it's a, big push. a build day on this project as we just had on the secret project. Yeah, the secret project did kind of take a little bit of our um, our focus and concentration, if you will. <laughs> oh, I've got quite a collection of yellow, red, and yeah. I, uh, oh, so we're talking. It sounds like there's a conversation about sorting going on. Um, oh, yeah? Yeah, it's interesting. I think, um, uh, you know, I think so many people start sorting by color and then move on to piece, sort of just like we did. Yeah. But, um, but yeah, you know what? I think it's that certain time of the day. It is. I think we should push, we can some, push some things back. back here. <laughs> All right, everybody. It's that time. Oh. Okay. All right. So apparently nothing's working today, including I, the um, oh, our he, animations. So, it's but all right. He's right there. There's Logan. It's Logan. Hi. See, you know what does work and what never crashes, Logan. Yeah. Sorry about the um that. That's really weird. He, he he heard a paw climbing a tree once. That's about as broken as our little guy gets. <laughs> oh wait. Oh goodness. Okay. Here we Ready? go. Can you catch? Oh, that was a good one! Yay, Logan! Good boy. What a good boy! What a good boy! <laughs> <laughs> wow, this day is riddled, <laughs> riddled with. Oh, oh my goodness. goodness! Technical difficulty day. I'm just, I'm not having it. It's a it's. I'm just gonna blame it on Wednesday. Look what I just found again that I may use somewhere on my train. 
Hey, I love this. that's a shooter, isn't it? Chris Barron is here. Hey, Chris, hey, how's Chris? it going? Haven't seen you in a while. So awesome to see you here. Um, it's a weird day, y'all. Ooh, I don't know why. Weird Check. day here on the Tricky Bricks Villain Chat. Oh, I did want to show you though. Um, oh, sorry. Go ahead. Oh, well, I, I was just gonna say. Um, I think. See this circular shape there. What if I put this shooter on top of it? Ooh, there. Sorry for all the rotational put issues. A spear there. in it. Yeah, right. What if that even comes out in front and is of this very mechanical thing? Are you able to see that on the down cam? It's a very, it's a small thumbnail for us today. I am working here trying. What do you to think? Do it. No, that. What do you think, Flynn? What's that? Do you like that on there? Or it actually, maybe it just complicates the shape of the... I mean, I think it looks cool. I'd have to see it with everything else. I would yeah. build the foundation first and make sure you have yeah. a solid foundation before you build more onto to that. You know what I think I'm going to do is just build flat walls up and then replace the walls with either broken parts or more interesting shapes afterwards. But i got to get some structure going up here. Well, I've got um, my tires going here. And, you know, I know people are saying that it's hard with a limited color palette, and it is challenging, but remember you that you can do, um, you know, it doesn't have to be just this color palette. Remember, you're, you're decorating the house for Halloween. <laughs> so if that means that you need to use more metal in order to make it look more, you know, like an actual... Um, you know, scrap heap type of thing, then then do that. Like, it's totally fine. Yeah, and, and don't let the... I mean, with the exception that in the end it should feel like it belongs in some weird version of Fabuland, um, don't feel, you know, don't let your creativity be too limited by that, right? Right. Like, let your imagination run wild. You'll know if it looks like Fabuland still or if it looks like Mad Max. But don't get so bogged down in the rules. That's what was going on with me. I was like, oh, no, I can't use dark yellow, and then I don't have the pieces. Um, but what I do need, Flynn, do you know where those ladders are? The ladders that are like a, it's like a snot overhang, but it's a three or four step the ladder. The train ladders? Instead. Those are in with, I think, vehicle parts. Really? But they haven't already been taken out of there. Okay. Yep. That's where they are. Yeah, so I think I'm just gonna start making all this stuff right here. And then when I get up to the level of the stripe, I'm gonna continue the stripe along. You're absolutely right. I think um, I was nervous about making things too busy, but I think the stripes on the sides of this thing are gonna really help. All right. <clears throat> so I am also like one of the things I wanted to do today was build in the plank because I want people to walk, um, not walk the plank, oh, but they, they walk up a plank while they, to get in, uh, to get to the bar. So we'll see. Now I got to say, I'm oh, not good I like see. Richard and I have not gone to, um, I have not gone on and like looked up tugboats. I don't know why I'm being stubborn about that. Well, you're. It's funny because you're the one who's who usually encourages me. Like, why don't you go and find <laughs> it out? <laughs> and I don't want to go on the web. And then of course I do, and it's great. Yeah, sorry. For Except the... of course, if you go on the web and you find out that someone has done your exact thing. Yeah, but you know, you gotta, you gotta just. I'll just do it my own way. Exactly, you gotta move past that. If you try to do something every time that nobody's ever done before, you'll end up doing nothing. Yep. All right, so yeah, because I wanted there to be a way for them to get on a plank, and y'all, I found some, uh, I found some, some cute little pieces I was thinking of using for this little side shack that we were talking about um oh that's right your talk uh talk like a pirate event is on saturday yano that's right oh yay that's so exciting i That'd love the really graphics fun. that i've seen feel free to post a link um in there or have um 
Minifig Chick or Moto post a link for you. Minifig Chick's usually really good about the about posting, finding, and posting links. So um, hopefully, we can get that up there for you. When I've decided that I'm gonna include dark blue in my stuff, like on this notion that it's kind of um, like weathered, dirty. Yeah. Yeah. This is a little freeing, just mocking this up, um, mocking this up in bricks, even though I know I'm going to change them. Uh huh. So I don't know. Do they do they have tires that go all the way around, or is it just on well, the side? Well, I mean, I think isn't the idea that they pull up to a dock and it stops them from smashing and smashing into the, into the side? So they're just on the I side. I wouldn't really. overdo it. Like I don't mind having one here, but wouldn't an anchor be more fun? Yeah, maybe. All right, let's see. All right, there's my tires, and then I'm gonna swap these around. And then four. So I don't know, do you find this? When you build, do you have lots of music going? Do you have the TV on? We usually have some kind of entertainment going yeah. on in the background. Yeah, I like to have movies on in the background, or we oh. have music. Well. Uh oh, snack for Logan. Snack for Logan. All right. Um, I'm I am unsure about um, what color. I guess maybe I'm gonna make it brown. I'm just gonna go ahead and make a brown plank, like just like any other plank, right? A Let's brown see, plank. Me... Yeah, coming off the boat rather than a red or a blue or a yellow one. Brown. Since we've got, I mean, they've got brown there already. Brown. Right? They t they tore apart their their brown fabulan chairs and made a plank. <laughs> of course. Okay, so I think I'm gonna make nice little column corners for in between these two windows, between here and the door, and then something here. And what I'd like to use is telescopes. I don't know, did we decide on... No, it was a different project where we decided telescopes were inappropriate. Right? <laughs> telescopes were inappropriate. Well, you know, sometimes the scale of a part doesn't fit. Where are the inappropriate telescopes? <laughs> They're in um, the, the container over there. That could be my astronomer punk band, Inappropriate Telescope. No. Where are they? You no, say you go. You go. You do you. <laughs> I can see playing to tens of followers. Tens of people? Yes. <laughs> what? There, there are no red or yellow telescopes. There are only black and white. Oh, while we are t while we are talking about this, oh, I wow. just wanted to I just wanted to let everybody know. We are going to be showing, you know, this stuff as a group on at um, Brick World, or sorry, at BrickCon. Um, but what I did discover um, yesterday was that the entry fee for it is twenty five dollars, and I don't want anybody to feel obligated to go like spend money to spend money to see their just to see their their images there if you want to do that we're totally glad but we don't want you to feel obligated and just as a reminder we will be showing everybody's pieces on um like here the week before yep. and we will also be putting up the gallery on our website and all that kind of stuff so if you if you if you aren't able to register don't uh, what i'm saying is if you aren't able to register if you can't afford it or you don't want to go or you can't be there don't worry about don't it. worry about it because it's also going to be over here and on our website and on so our there will website. lots of there will be lots of opportunities to check it out yep um so there we go um what do you think oh yeah we are they're registering for these in apocalyptic is where it will be apocalyptic and do you think light gray is better here I don't know. This dark gray isn't feeling. No, right I like to me. I like the light gray. I think light. Yeah. Oh, the BrickCon non AFOL public ticket is only five dollars. Got it. Okay, I didn't oh, realize yay. that. Sorry, I was I wasn't. Uh, I was looking at the. You know, I always look at the other one. Thank you for clarifying. Appreciate that. Well, there you go. Five bucks. Um. Okay. Let me see. I don't know. I think I'm overthinking this. It is possible. It is possible. 
Well, we're just gonna continue with this idea of roughing in and then grading. Well, I want to see how. Other. Oh, sorry there. How long? Yeah, five dollars for the public. Okay, great. Thank you so Yay. much. <laughs> I that's was worried. Good... I was like, oh my goodness. I hope people don't feel that's such like good they, news. They're gonna have to go see it. That's wonderful news. I love that. Let's see. So this plank, I'm thinking tiles. Ooh. <laughs> see. Okay. What's that? Build with whatever materials or make art with whatever materials you want. But I'm just going to say the reason why I threw that brick over there the other few minutes ago, I was like, ma, this isn't Lego. Well, I was just going through the cylinders and I saw this cylinder and I'm like, what is caught inside that cylinder? There's, did, did, what is it? Oh, dystopian. It's, You're right. It's not Lego. Right? So that quality that we've come to, you know, I sound like a commercial, but I am a fan of Lego. That quality we're used to, I just don't see in these other pieces. Logan wanted to spoke. There you go. He, he recycles them. This is too big. To... What's going on? No, it, nothing. It's just, it's, this is too big to accommodate. Oh, I don't know. Well, I can make you... it wider. That. Yeah, well you found you found um, gray clips and bars, so that's cool. But I'm thinking like I can I could also make um, a plank with different colors. And I'm also thinking I might combine studs and tiles. Just for something different, just to like rough it up a little bit. You know, I'm liking that gray in there. It almost makes me think I should insert, like, should I insert some vent panels? Yeah. What's that? Should I insert some vent panels here with like gray um, uh, uh, textured bricks? Um, I I'm, I'm gonna simple. I'm gonna break up this wall and the stuff back here with some kind of greebling. Like I'm either gonna insert clips there so I can put pipes on it, is what I think I'll do. Like put um, lightsabers and clips. So stay simple. That's the, you know, that's why I decided not to do the telescopes here, is because they seem too small, like not chunky enough for Fabuland. Yeah, I can see that. And then so I'm like going to raise this up a couple of plates. See, I'm liking this. Um, I think a couple of plates. Maybe with some. Oh, a yellow stripe, maybe. Got to continue that stripe around. Are we on two different tracks here? Sometimes we'll have two completely different conversations next to one another. It does happen. <laughs> Oh yeah, the Frankenstein brick heads. I'm so excited about that. Well, and they're partnered with Universal, right? Um, yes, that's what it looks like. So hopefully we see more. Um, oh, let's see, that's not right. Stripe too low. See, I like this. I like this keeping it chunky. Well, we have Ooh. to. We're starting to get a better sense of what our aesthetic is. Right, and I'm also trying to stick with the color palette. Like that's why I'm mean, using like using this is definitely one. Right. Um, let me see. So, oh, Chris Barron was asking, is there a challenge description online with rules? Chris Barron, yes. If you go to trickybricks.com, there is um a there is a whole post all about this particular um, and this isn't so much a challenge as it is a collaborative build um, so we have taken a break from regular build challenges this week so that we can uh, from regular build challenges this week so that we can um, do that and you know what I'm thinking so that we can c continue building on, on this one it's okay I'll find those barefoot later Shit. well you know it's, now it's making me feel like I've 
It's too neat. But it's okay. I am no stranger to neat. Wait, no stranger to neat? Well, to like to neat building. Sorry, yeah. I won't even try to pretend the other thing. That is that oh, is a false statement. No, I wasn't being incredulous. I just didn't understand what you were referring to. <laughs> we do have different building styles, but I wasn't even referring to that. Mm. Well, you know, this is making me kind of want to have. Oh, I need my corner. Some stick out pieces like this. I knew there was a mistake. Yeah, see, falling apart because I haven't reinforced it. Uh oh, what I happened? Know, reinforce early and often, but I don't do that because if you sketch it in and get it all reinforced, then you have to, you know, take that all apart again when you change your mind. <laughs> and I don't like rebuilding, but it's of course, true. of course, we have to. Sometimes. Oh, sometimes maybe I'll you put. Do. Maybe I'll put a 1x4 Technic beam in there so it's got some holes in it. Or a, or a snot piece. So I've decided that it was too even on the side, so I'm sticking some pieces out. It's broken. It's not brand new. Right. So it's like broken and patched together. And actually, I don't mind the inset here, like with the little holes in it. I think it gives it a little bit more. Yeah. I don't know. I feel like I want to come up one more with a blue. Dark tan is legal, right? Dark tan uh, was... I think dark tan is in the figures, isn't it? Look. Yeah, dark tan is legal. All right. That's right. Okay, then I'm going to add... I can't help but no. always think of D'Artagnan. I know, but you know what? I'm not going to do that because I felt um, I was just looking at it and it seemed to um, like, you know how we're trying to kind of stick with this chunky aesthetic and it seemed like it was getting not chunky the way I would like. Brick by Brick Mox. Yes, you probably did see us on Lego Masters. Hey, Brick by Brick Mox. Welcome. He, he used to wear glasses. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Welcome, welcome by the stream. That's awesome. Ooh, I hate this. Um, uh, Look at that. That doesn't work out at all. That's terrible. What's wrong? Don't you think these narrow? Don't you think these narrow pieces look inappropriate n near the corner columns? They're a little thin. Yeah, I feel like the stripe would go all the way around, and maybe I need to divide up those gray cylinders into plates. There. I think. I think I've got my. I think I'm happy with my little. My little plank thing here. It's cute, and right. I like how you're kind of painting with studs there. What is that I said about taking things apart? What are you do? Are you taking things apart now? Yes. <laughs> there we go. Ooh, I've got some serious... Well, fortunately, you won't be able to see it, so I can just use another thing. <laughs> there you go. All right, check it out. Oh, by the way, if you are new to us and you have not been uh, watching for a while, or maybe you have and you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe to the channel oh, yeah. because um, although it seems like we have forgotten about it, we actually have a subscriber drive going on. And when we hit... 2,000 subscribers, we are going to be giving away, what is that, Flynn? <laughs> this Monkey Kid, Monkey King, Warrior Mech set that's just sitting over here in the corner collecting dust, waiting to go to someone's house when we hit 2,000 followers. Subscribers. Um, yeah, yeah, subscribers. So, if you are new and you want to subscribe, that's awesome. There you go. Um, Woohoo! Uh -oh. Nothing spilled. Somehow. Let's see how, if we can empty these shelves. Oh, no. It's always like a, a whole, there's like a whole cleanup mission at the end. Wow. That was like from oh, old school teacher days. We have our one days. by ones. Look at this. We have them so separated out. We try. Well, once dots happened, and with a few bigger purchases, we ended up with a lot of these little plates. There, I think I'm happy with that. 
That's pretty cool. I like the scale of it. Um, now I'm trying I to think decide it's would this now would it come up and over like this? Like I think it would to be the edge? entirely made of wood so that I, I would mask it. Okay. Yeah, you know, well and we know that we're gonna have to use a um oh. plate here. What's up? Remember, do you you get those recollections like, oh yeah, blue one by one tiles or, or plates are a problem. Oh, I don't like that. Okay, and then I don't like that at all. What's going on? Um, I just don't like the way that this doesn't meet here in the front. It doesn't look good. Well, here, opinion. why don't you replace this one by tile here with two by tiles that will overlap the hinge and then butt another set of plates up to them. I don't think that will work either. Well, see what happens if, if these aren't here and you just, I don't know if this, that wouldn't have to come up a plate, would it? It would come, it would end up looking like this. Is that better? And could you put, uh, you could put two... <laughs> man overboard or pig overboard. Um, you couldn't put two by n cheese wedges in there to fill the gap, could you? Well, I'm wondering what if could I do? Yeah, I and then this like just this. goes here. I think that's all right. Do you think, do you have a problem with this um, window sitting right on the yellow stripe? Do you think we need another? continue the blue i think it's fine all right um like hmm. fretting over every stud with basically building a box <laughs> <laughs> that's how we do right and i think i'm going to use some steeper slopes here hmm no these have to come up the whole thing's going to be pretty tall. So I think the next thing I'm going to work on after the train, um, because they're going to go together, is the um, uh, uh, the tunnel, which is the most restrictive building we have. How's it going over there? Um, it's so going. So what do you think? Do these two by ends work to cover that? Um, I have to raise this up because of the hinge. Oh, you raise it. Yeah, you always have to offset, right? And I'm going to see what I can manage here. Well, you still want to mask over these, don't you? Yeah, I'm going to. Oh, you know, you can get still. you can get tricky with it is put um well, here you have a stud underneath, right? Well, I think on both of these you have one underneath. So what if you bridge it with a tile and then just put some plates underneath that tile to mask? Well, I'm thinking that what I might do is just extend the plank so that it um, so that it doesn't have to be bent down quite so far. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's pretty steep <laughs> for those animals well, with their little short legs. You should try it on the model, too. We should try it in place to see how much room you have. I'm figuring if we can just extend it like that much, that helps. And I could see if I could replace those hinges with brown ones. I don't know. I still think you can. I think you can mask over that whole gap there. All right. Well, I'll take a look at that. But then you know, think about sight lines too, right? We're not going to be shooting this from straight down. So sight line wise, it's already covered from back here. I think it needs a hole. What do you think? <laughs> sure, why not? And like a crocodile underneath? I gotta say, that was one of the things as a kid that terrified me. My dad lived on a houseboat for a while. It's true, my dad lived on a houseboat for a while. Um, and it terrified me to walk across the little plank thing that took, that, that took you down to the boat. Oh, man. It oh, really? Oh, because you could see below you? Because I could see down. Yeah, railroad bridges used to get me. So have you seen this um, way that we organize our um, corners? Check that out. It is so... It takes a little bit of time when you're just, you know, watching stupid TV or whatever. 
Um, but it saves so much time when you're building. It really does. Oh, look, there's my blue corner right there. No dumping out on a blanket. Easy peasy. No dumping out on a blanket. Well, that's always a bonus. Well, I don't know. It's a pretty efficient method, but it's, it always, it's always a commitment if it's a large drawer. <laughs> Ooh, I'm starting to like this better. Yeah? What is it? What about it? Well, I've I've captured the um, I've captured the yellow stripe in between blue, and then that gives me a border between the yellow and the blue windows. Nice. So I think that's gonna work, and I'm right at the right height of the top of the door here too. building on camera and then see wouldn't it have it would have even something building on camera bro sticking out here i think it would have bits sticking out in back but we have to be careful because it has to rock against this guy right as they go up and down they have to not hit like that so i'm gonna have to test that all right here we go in fact i'm gonna do that right now a, a brief test over here. There we go. I think that works. Take this out? Yeah, I think I'll just replace those hinges with brown and that's going to help. Because golly, there's just no way without like seriously building up here to, to fix that. Although I do want to move this t over here. Oops. Just because I wanted a little air between so there you go, there's my funny little plank leading up to my sushi bar. Oh, and I wanted to show you too, so I couldn't find all of the pieces I need for this for these red slopes, so I decided just to like wing it, and I went ahead and left this front, remember we were talking, about, I was like, I kind of like that hole because it lets you see inside a little bit better. So what I did was I used regular 45, ang 45 degree slopes, to make it look like um, it was broken, right? Like, so it's got, it's not quite all the things. So you kind of just go with what you got, right? <coughs> go well, with what First you of know. all, I think it looks nice. I like the holes in it. I think the introduction of gray and other colors into this when we weather it is going to be really cool. Yeah, I'm thinking I'm going to do a... Um, a railing around right here. Like it's... a broken railing where someone got in a fabulous fight and got knocked over the railing. Oh my goodness, I hope not. <laughs> but maybe... Well, it is Fab Max, right? Is. Like, they're not just bringing each other cups of sugar. Really? I, I don't know. Maybe the they are. Thing. I thought the whole place ran on sugar. Well, probably. I'm going to pull this out of the way just for a moment so I can do my test here. Will you help me with this test? Mm -hmm. What okay. am I doing? Um, what sit, am I testing? Sitting here, basically. Let's see. So this is going to go like this. Whoop. Oops. I oh, I could actually... Me. Yeah. Here, I'm actually going to hook this up. Oh, but I don't know where the remote is. Do you know where the remote is? I sure don't. That's your, that is your territory, I'm afraid. Well, I might, have to, I might have to fake it. Let's see. No, my door came off. Okay, so we can go down. Oh, here, look, remote. Ha ha ha. Look at oh that. My goodness. We have All the right. technology. Thanks, and Patrick. I'm going to press these two green buttons on the powered up hub and remote within two seconds. Don't of one another. on my finger. Right? Do it within two seconds, I think. And then they pair up. I've got a yellow light here if you can't see it, and a yellow light over here. And then I'm in port B, so I'm going to go to port B on the remote. Look at that. They clear. Very good. Very nice. That works, Joel, right? And then I it like starts that idea. cleaning up. Joel, I do like that idea a lot. What's that? Well, I've been, I, you know, it's funny, like, I'm telling people, like, build, with whatever, but I've been pretty dogmatic about the, about the color scheme in places, 
And oh, Joel, you mean on on your boat? Yes, Joel was just mentioning that perhaps it would be interesting to have some dark red pieces mixed in with the red to give it a little bit more sense of being, you know, weathered or broken. And I actually well, think it's a really great idea. And that's actually leading me to another thought about this. I was wanting to start introducing a little dark blue into the locomotive. Yeah. And I've already got dark yellow. So what if we use dark blue, dark red, and dark yellow as shadow colors? That's fine. Whoa! Right? It's still primarily going to be, um, you know, the the primaries, but I think already that's starting to look more interesting. Yeah, I think so too. Right, because otherwise, how do you how do you age it? Oh no! If, if it has a um, if it has a low resolution, right? If it's really big chunky pieces, then aging it with cracks and holes is go. less effective. So I think color is one of our main tools, right? Yes, for sure. <laughs> I know the roof fell in and the roof smashed fell in, someone. The monkey was really upset. It knocked. What is? The, oh, it's a fabulous broom. It, it's a broom. His little his broom to clean up, you know, because sanitation. And now that I'm done with my test of the um, of the train with the hub, I'm gonna take the remote, hold the green button for a few seconds until it changes color and it's going to turn off the hub and I'm not going to waste my batteries. Yeah, Joel, you know what Power I really do? I really do like this um I really do like this dark red mixed in. It really makes the shingles um stand out a little bit more and definitely looks more weathered. Oops. And um Oh, so this was something I was waiting for Richard because I wasn't sure how this was going to was going to go. But, okay. Um how am I how should oh, I shoot. I need to attach this guy onto here. Let me look at that in a minute. I'm going to get okay. this um this train track back safe again. And I'm going to see if I can find a couple more it's the the engine on this thing, the actual real motor engine, fits so tightly with those wheels onto the roller coaster track that um, there's a lot of friction to pull it off if the motor's not running. All right, get those there. Put the track back in order. Uh oh, empty screen. No, 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 no! Oh. You can't do that. You can't leave it empty. There, I'm back. See. All right. Kind of digging this piece here. Wow, that was a close one, Flynn. It was. There. I really like that, right? It's like, it's simple, but it works, I think. There. Right? The track back in order. What, adding a little bit of dark color there? Yeah. I think it's good. Yeah, I like it. All right, and then I actually like that your railing isn't perfectly straight here. Like it could be a little. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Is that what you were thinking of? No, we're like pretty that? much saying that in Fabuland studs are acceptable, right? We can see studs. Oh yeah, absolutely. we're gonna see a lot of them. Our green base plates. But I mean, like I'm gonna fill the. I mean, I'm definitely gonna fill this in with tiles, just because I. Hate yeah. That. Well, is it going to be wood or is it going to be white tiles? I'm not sure. I think I would douse the white a little bit. Like it's a, how much solid white do you see in Fallout? Um, not much. Everything's dingy, right? <laughs> I've been playing a lot of Fallout. He's been playing a lot of Fallout, <coughs> New Vegas. Um, but uh, yeah, I'm digging this. So okay, so attachment for the whale on top. Oh yes, let's look at this. Because you can't actually, I thought you couldn't attach Duplo to studs. It had to be the well, other way around. The problem is it's gonna be tall. I think what you have to do is put a Duplo plate um, here, mm -hmm. and then you could put that Duplo plate on this. I'm not sure. Let's get out the Duplo and see. Yeah, I love this. Actually, yeah, can I'm. You even see, I have rope light. In I'm the in love with here. this. I am in love with this boat. It makes me so happy. <laughs> um, whale on Duplo block. Duplo block on flat piece of normal Lego. Okay. All 
That should fit. It does! It fits! Oh, this is so awesome. I wasn't well, sure. Do you want another of those yellow Duplo blocks and you'll go the whole No, way? no. I think I like it just like this. Can you set it back a stud? It is already hanging off by one. Um. There. So now his little, little chin floats a little more. Oh, that's so awesome. Here, he's going to try and fall off when you turn it sideways, but let him see. Oh, you can show the front camera. Okay, so, yeah. So now the whale is officially at the top of the sushi barge. Now, <laughs> do you want, if I have a red one of those plates, do you want that instead? I am so, I am so all about this. No, 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 no. I like the yellow. I think it makes a nice, it, nice break. Yet right? another home for Duplo in our piece. Yeah, I'm I'm so excited about this. And then and then he's gonna be. We decided the other day. I don't know if you, maybe you were in the other room, but everyone that decided that it's funnier if um, because some we were talking about maybe using the fish for a masthead. Yeah. And then um, it kind of got voted that the whale eating the fish was funnier. So I'll I think that's that. what we're gonna do. <laughs> hey, here's one for every all you clever builders out there. See this Duplo sort of radar dish? I, I want to use that thing it's so got bad. It's this giant pin on the bottom of it, and I can fit it into the hole in a Duplo stud, kind of, but it's meant for a different hole. Do you have any idea how to interface that with Lego? Because I'd love to, well, even if we can't get it moving around, I'd love to um, support it on one of our pieces. This makes me so happy. I can't even tell y'all how happy this is. <laughs> uh, Joel, the option for the big fish to eat the little fish is going to be me probably using a little sticky tack um, to fit it in there. Well, I mean, he can be doing that. Yeah, he only <laughs> has to hold long enough for the... I mean, we'll see. It may be a little, it may be a little sticky tack for the photo. Yeah, but... there's a secret... In photos, sometimes we use like a little glue dot or something like that. We learned that on the ver on the um, uh, we learned that on one at our very first Bricks by the Bay. Remember, we took that photography, um, yeah. that thing on photography that we did that was so cool. Yeah. Well, we try, you know, as much as possible. Oh, I'm not gonna be able to do that. What's up? Oh, I'm just discovering my front window is very wide. Maybe I can't do my front window I wanted. I need to borrow these. Unless I raise them up. Uh, what was I going to say? Oh, yeah, sometimes for photos we do that. But we try to make all the connections we can. Yeah. So I'm going to... Well, maybe I have to use a different window. So I was, um, we were talking the other day about doing a, a sort of like little side shack over here. Um, and I want these like to have fish in them and other things. <laughs> Do you think you work? should start your, um, oh, a smaller fish being eaten by the Duplo fish? Well, you know. Oh, okay. right, like turtles all the way down. Hang on a second. Whoa! Okay, I want to show you something, y'all. The, the, on the bottom of this fish is a actual Lego stud-sized hole. That's a real stud-sized hole? Oh! Um, with, and, oh, oh, dang it. You know what? The, the mouth looked like it was the right size for a stud, but it's actually not. Oh, too bad. Oh, I wait, it does fit a stud. What does? Oh, I the can, mouth? I can fit a stud inside this Duplo fish's mouth. A stud will fit in there. So. Well, then I, I mean, I have a crazy idea. Maybe it's too crazy. This is always, this, it, this prelude of words... Well, what if, I guess it's too much. Never mind. <laughs> okay. Um, what I was thinking is, what if the sushi barge had one of those cranes that trawlers and stuff have made out of yellow truss, 
and that it actually had caught like it was fishing and it caught that giant fish in the absurdly shallow um uh swamp uh, i do i do like that idea however um i really like the idea of the fish eating the other fish and um i don't well, want to overcomplicate the boat i want the focus to yeah, be yeah i can see that I want the focus to be the food part of it and not so much the uh, the other part. And also, it already takes up a lot of room, you would agree, I think. Yeah, I would agree. Yeah, floating right out there would be great. Like he's I ah! wish it was like he was about to hit Wow, that was a that was like a D&D &D sound there. It, well, that was, it was frustrating. Yeah, I think actually given that this has the stud in the bottom of it, I think that I could stack up clear one by ones if I wanted to 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 work with that. Yeah. Well we have to use this we have to use this yellow truss piece somewhere. You know, I think we'll have it oh, on, we will. on one of our buildings or something. Oh we will Oh we will. You know, have we just about Build everyone's morning with building by now? <laughs> Have we tried everyone's patience long enough? <laughs> Look, I got I got about uh, uh, 20 or 30 bricks put on my little train, but I have a better idea now of the size of the um, of what the compartment will be. Um, and I'm gonna build it up top so it has that cute little shape and a roof going over. Maybe next time we talk, I'll have um, that progress on this. Well, I am. Oh, this is what I need. Pretty excited about the way this is all well, I, turning out. I think it makes a big statement. It definitely does. The Duplo whale. That was another of those things. I was like, I don't know. The it Duplo might be too whale. Big. It's perfect. Oh, look! There's an update on the Duplo pen thing. What's that? Let's see. Um. Oh my goodness. <clears throat> what Duplo pins? Hey, Paul Sinison's here. Hey, Paul, how's hey, it going? Paul. I haven't seen you in a little while. Awesome. Jeff McElwee is here. So excited. Jeff is um, uh, donating some uh, figures for Fab Max, which we're really oh, excited cool. about. Um, and yeah, and a new one that we don't have, which I'm super excited about. The stand is Duplo 2x2, two two, so it should fit over 4x4 four four system studs. Oh. A stand? What stand? I'm not sure. I just said, <laughs> oh, like I knew what I was talking about. Oh, thank you for exposing me. He was just going to float that one right across there. What, what stand? We should find out. So silly. Um, but yeah, but I think we have we have um, probably reached our, uh, our end Saturation for today. Saturation point? Um, but I am going to continue building on this. By the next time you see this, it will be completed, I believe. Um, and yeah, I'm looking forward to our build sessions this weekend, and I can't wait to share with you our secret project. Oh, right. So make sure and check out tomorrow um, for the um, on our social medias for the um, the surprise build or the the secret project build that we will be debuting then. So that should be exciting. Wow, we um, have filled our floor with boxes and containers. Oh, this is nothing. You should have seen my class yesterday. Watch, you did see the class yesterday. I think you almost like collapsed into a pile I of did. classes. I did. Um, Mel, that was so cool. That was really fun. All right. So uh, don't forget, if you want to email us with anything, mm -hmm. ask us questions, send us a uh, picture of stickers for sticker time, you can do that at flynn at trickybricks.com. We get such nice email there. We do. We get we get nice emails and, and, and letters and things from people. It's always just so nice, yep. I gotta say. Um, and uh, don't forget, too, that you can email your Fab Max photos to challengephotos at trickybricks.com. But even better than that is going onto the website and going to the form. There's a link to the yep. form. Um, I would so much prefer uh, if, you, if you have the option to do the form. And then so, you get to go to our website, which is fun. Yes. Yes. Um, it's a, it is. It's, we, well, it's getting we, more fun. It'll be yeah. more fun when Gwyneth gets back from Hawaii. I think so. <laughs> I've got somebody. Gwyneth's going to be helping us out with a website, and she's on vacation. And she's like, no, no, I can totally work on it while I'm gone. No, like, no you don't. No, look at beaches. You're she was go, talking about kayaking. Go have fun. You don't need to. Oh, my goodness. Let me it's see. Very silly. Computer mouse, kayaking. Right? Yes. Yes. 
Um, you can put in uh, three images um, up up on the form. So um, of any given fatty film, pan MKE, right? I would say just put yours in a. Um, uh, Sorry, put yours in a, a compressed file, you know, and send it to me in the email. That'll be yeah. that'll be much easier um, if you have like a whole lot of photos. Um, and I don't, and also too, I don't know what our limit is on photos for them. So, yeah. All anyway, right. um, okay, gosh. And then if you, but if you want to send us something through the snail mail, you can do that. Flynn and Richard, P.O. Box 11517, Oakland, Oakland, California, 94611. Um, so the um, we are, I know that there's something waiting for us. We We've gotten go the mail. such wonderful art. Oh, I know. We have like a whole art gallery now of yeah. just stuff that people have made Tricky and sent. It's so art. awesome. Um but yeah, so I hope that you had fun checking it out today. This Friday, because we do not have a regular... <laughs> that was bugging me. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> because we don't have a regular challenge, we are actually going to be doing a best of build challenge photos. So we're going to go through some of our past uh, build challenges and pick out some of our favorite photos and show them in a sort of uh, tricky... Tricky lug retrospective, retrospective. <laughs> if you will. It's an early retrospective, <laughs> but it's, you know, a bunch of episodes. Right? 125. We've, this we've, is 125 episodes today, y'all. That's crazy. It just keeps ticking up there. It's nuts. Right, and we've had so many build challenges, so Friday will be fun. Come check it out. Yeah. And, you know, I didn't make a huge amount of progress on my train, but I determined the scale of it. I tested it on the track. I know what the striping is going to look like for the other cars. So I hope you're enjoying these build um, days with us. We just blab about it like we do when we build at home by ourselves. Yep. Um, the I hope the yeah hope that you enjoyed it. Hope that you had fun. Hope that you found some inspiration in some of the stuff. And and as always, um, I really love all of the. Um, the suggestions from people um, that's always good stuff help. it's a huge help and i think it, it's fun that we are all um it's literally a collaborative build like we are working not only on our own individual pieces but helping each other with um other things and it's again a um don't feel pinned down by color i mean like you saw what i did here right like i included brown and the nougat color and gray and, and light gray which are all still in the color palette but i was able to think i think make good use of them um well i think just those three roof pieces really made a huge difference. yeah i think so too um and i feel like this is kind of almost done which is yeah. making me really happy i gotta find that darn water wheel well i'm feeling we'll like the end of it on it and that's sure. what i think about roughing in this train right i want to get it all together get it working on the track and then move on to a building that it fits and then it's like doing a low res pass first right. and then we always do like a high res pass with cheese wedges or whatever our small pixel is for this one maybe two by twos I know you've never heard that before, but that's how we like to do it. We say everything <laughs> at least 17 times. All right. Well, thanks, everybody, so much for joining us. We will be back on Friday at 10 a.m. Uh, with our uh, Tricky Lug Challenge Retrospective, our Tricky Bricks Challenge Retrospective show. Yep. Um, looking forward to seeing you all there. I bet um, Super Sewer Baby is going to make an appearance. Uh, I just I predict. What you say? Working model versus actual product is good method. <laughs> Indeed. Um, all right, everybody. Hope you have a great time. And until we see you on uh, Friday, please remember to stay safe, stay healthy, wash your hands, wear your mask, and we'll see you Friday at 10 a.m. Bye, everyone. Bye, everyone. Happy building. <laughs>